Um, there, you have to prioritize whether or not you want the family to kind of stay together or whether or not you want to make a political point. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are great guys. Today we're going to be reacting to Charlie King's top tips for talking to liberal friends and family as a conservative. Guys, I feel this is much wanted, so let's just go down to it. I guess I have a simple question. Um, like in a family full of like conservatives, we're kind of the minority in the in a grand family. I just want to know how I can converse with the rest of my family being like liberal, and especially my friends as well, um, without obviously causing discourse and too much hurt, I guess. Yeah, um, well, never be the source of hurt. That's my first piece of advice. Mm. So don't be the one to call names or, you know, um, try to disassociate from people. But I think every conservative here in this audience would agree that you lost friends, but they left you, you didn't leave them. Uh, a lot of, and that's, I, I never support the severing of friendships over politics, but I'm also realistic. It happens all the time where people stop being friends with you because of politics. I bet every single person in this room could resonate with that. So look, this is a, this is a situation where you're going to have to balance. Are you going to tell the truth when there might be a consequence to it, right? And it's also how you say it. It's also how you communicate it. Having that balance of 100% grace with 100% truth, trying to be magnanimous, and how you communicate, I think, is really, really important. But also, um, you know, understanding that in family dynamics, um, there you have to prioritize whether or not you want the family to kind of stay together, or whether or not you want to make a political point. And I don't say this advice lightly. There's some politics that should, there's some families that should never discuss politics. Um, and there's an argument for that. It's like they're so rigid in their beliefs, it's just going to cause a civil war. Now, some people say, you know what, I'm going to, you know, say what I want to say. And I know, personally, dozens of examples of parents that don't talk to children anymore. I think that's really unhealthy. I think it's not good at all. Um, but it's a balance. I think that everyone should know where you stand. Um, and then the final piece of advice is go to work on the family members where there's a little bit of openness. If you believe that you're right, if we believe we're right, then start to send articles, ask questions. Start to understand their, you know, their points of where they think that they view the world in a certain way. Like, well, I just want to help people. Like, okay, then start to find things where all of a sudden left-wing policies are not helping people, right? Um, and then with your friends, I mean, I kind of answered that already. Just, um, you know, you're probably going to lose friends, and they'll probably continue. And uh, also know the difference between good faith arguments and bad faith arguments. Do not waste your time in bad faith arguments. Just don't. If people are just putting their hands in their ears, saying, I don't want to hear anymore, just disengage. But if people are really curious and they're dialoguing with you, that's worth your time. But don't waste your time. You, you, and you could use your own prudence and your wisdom to navigate that. So guys, I, I find it weird that politics should be what would cause rivals between families, friends. It just doesn't make much sense to me. I know that there are so many people who are liberals and conservatives that are friends and everybody has their own ideology about different topics, different things, even politics as well. But it all depends on how you say it, just like Charlie said. I feel the way you come at me with your words would actually, would actually want me to give a listening ear to what you have to say. So even when it comes down to having an argument with friends, family, whatever the topic may be, you guys have different ideologies. But the way you present your words could actually make them listen to you. And trust me, you're going to lose friends. You're going to lose friends. There's no two ways about it. If you have um, a certain way you live your life and it's not just in line with another person, they're going to be like, nah, you're not my kind of person. I do not want to roll with you. But that is them. You are you. So I just feel like when you meet someone like that, you should just, like, same thing, same thing. Do not disengage yourself. Do not disengage yourself. They would be the ones to leave you because they see that the way you live your life is just not like theirs. So there's no point being friends. But at the same time, there's some people that will stay. I have friends who like who think differently, but they're still friends. And trust me, when there's an argument, you look at both of them arguing, you feel like, oh, how are these two people friends? But then they're still friends. And another thing I'm going to say is, Never be the one to start an argument. Like, you know what's happening is wrong. Just mind your business. 
mind your business, they won't be problems. Don't be the one to start pointing fingers and saying, oh, you are wrong, you did this, you did that. No. When you are in the middle of the conversation, that is when you can talk. So far you are still at the far beginning. It doesn't concern you. Just mind your business and do what you're doing. But when there's a need to talk, you talk and do not waste your time on arguments that are just not valid. That's just what I'm going to say. But guys, you tell me what you think about this. What would your advice be to this particular question? Don't forget to also like, share, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys.